Hello, I'm Sean with Monster Bots, and this is my robot Monster Mash. I had a couple people uh, online that were asking me um, some questions about what the insides were like on this guy. I guess I never really took many photos of it, so uh, I figured I'd go to sort of go ahead and um, explain what I have and the thought process. Um, luckily, I have uh, uh, this is the frame that I competed with. It's awfully dinged up, which is uh, kind of nice. But uh, I have a secondary frame. I made so many spare parts. I have one of extra of everything. And um, and this is my original prototype frame. This was just a, a 6061 aluminum and some PLA 3D printed motor mount rails uh, that I did at the local library and just some polycarbonate that was kicking around. Um, I learned to actually draw in 3D and uh, 3D print for this project, which was great. It was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, um, my uh, comp competition frame here, it is a 7075 aluminum. Um, the uh, motor mount rails are different. These are actually um, onyx, which were printed on a mark forge. So they're composite and they're reinforced with Kevlar strands, um, which is kind of great. Um, the motors, there's four motors in here, and those are uh, 1,000 RPM motors. There's, they're available from a bunch of companies, um, Servo City, Pololu, Kitbots. There's a bunch of options for those. Um, I'm running my speed controls are Robot Power Wasps. I'm running a pair of those. Um, I'm running a finger tech on off switch, uh, it's a full kill switch, it's a one you have to use a driver for so it can't actually really shut off um, from impact or anything like that as opposed to a normal on off switch. Uh, it's just a little LED, it's uh, my little eyeball LED lens flare. Um, battery is a 500 mAh uh, LiPo battery, um, it's running at 4S. Um, yeah, and I have um, my, the way I built my robot is it has a modular front end. It has a few different options. This is a ramming plate, grade five to titanium. Um, it's kind of spring loaded to take side impacts. Uh, hasn't really done much in that regard yet. Um, I also have these wedgelets, which got quite used uh, in, uh, in, in the tournament at Bot Brawl. The teeth are quite, quite dinged up, but it was at one point kind of almost a razor's edge. Um, and the deal with these is they can, uh, even if the robot's twisting and turning on an uneven surface, or if there's lips, they'll always skate along the bottom and they get up, get under pretty much everything um, so far. And um, yeah, um, I also have uh, a wedge, 7075 mounts that go onto the bolts, and that's a grade five titanium wedge that I, uh, that I made, custom bent that all up. Um, and it bolts on like with a bolt, just like this uh, plate does. Yeah, as do the, the wedgelets. These are little carbon fiber spacers. Actually, they kind of blew up in my one of my more gnarly matches. I broke a bunch of those, so I'll have to find an alternative. Um, and that's uh, pretty much it. Um, one, one and a half millimeter carbon fiber top and bottom lids as well. Um, this robot's invertible, can go either way. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That's Monster Mash. Thanks.